let's take a look at this was this was your warm up first example the same thing 30 times 12 what number are you going to break down Kaylee let's write that down there the 30 is going to stay as a 30 it ends in a 0 and that is going to be placed outside these parentheses and we're going to take that 12 and we're going to break it down into what plus what 10 plus 2. Now, you could break it down as 6 and 6 and 5 and 7, but let one of the numbers always end in a 0 because it's going to make things easier in your head. Now, what you're going to do is you take this 30, which is outside the parentheses, and you're going to multiply it by each number inside the parentheses. And we're just going to rewrite that multiplication step. So you have 30 times 10 plus what guys nope you guys still distribute this 30 plus what times what 30 times 2 okay it's it's a common mistake I see kids do that they want to do 30 times 10 and then just add the 2 you can't do it you got to take what's outside the parentheses and you got to multiply it by each number in Okay, so now we're going to e evaluate each multiplication expression. What's 30 times 10? 300. Okay. <laughs> 30 times 2. Smash it together. And you'll notice that'll match up what you got on warm up page 1. Okay, let's do the next one. What number do you break up? Tom Tom. Correct. 400 stays as is. What do you break 27 into? Jack. Correct. Remember, you're taking the 400 and multiplying it by each number inside the parentheses. I like to make the arrows because you can kind of visualize what you're doing. 400 times 20 plus what times what? E squared. Correct. Okay. Watch what you can do because I see some kids make a mistake and they'll put 800 here. What's the mistake? What, what should 400 times 20 be? The 8,000. Here's the zero trick. Ready? And you can do this at any time and it works just about every single time. What's 4 times 2? Say it out loud. 8. How many zeros do you Three. see? Three. Three. three zeros. So it's eight and then your three zeros. Let's do it here. What, what's seven times four? Twenty-eight. How many zeros do you see? Two. Add two zeros. Okay, it'll work every single time. It's a little different when we do decimals, which I'll show you. But for, for whole numbers, it'll work every single time. Okay, smash it together. Stephen, what do you got? Stephen, what do you got? Eight thousand plus two thousand eight hundred. And listen, if you get to this, and you need to do it off to the side, then do it off to the side. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's how a distributive property works with whole numbers. Now let's do it with decimals. Flip the page. Kind of really what this is really kind of the meat and potatoes of what lesson 10 is because you've got to now be able to do it with decimals since we're in the decimal part of the module. All right, so take a look at the second number. That's the number we're going to break up. How do you break it up? Well, 200 is going to stay as is. My goodness. Michael. Nope, not. 
10 and something, 0. 0.6. 0. 0.6. That is six tenths, though. <laughs> it's ten and point six. Don't make it more complicated than it needs to be, because the whole idea is if you could break it down and now multiply each one. Let's do it. Well, first, let's rewrite it. Do it this way, okay? What I, Aunt, where did I lose you? That'll do it. Okay. Let's use the zero trick. What's two times one? One, two. How many zeros do I have to add? You better get this right. All right. Good. This you've got to be a little careful with. Okay, if this helps you, is 0.6 greater than 1 or less than 1? Less than 1, right? So if you did 200 times 1, what would your answer be? 200. Now if you're multiplying by a number that's less than 1, this answer has to be less than 200. Well, first, what's the answer? The answer is what's, what's 200 times 0.6? And then I'll show you the method. No. 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 Krista. Krista. All right, I need to show it to you. Amanda, 120. Listen, I'll show it. I'll show you how. Let me show you how to do the zero trick with a decimal. I'll wait till everybody's ready. For right now, make believe the decimal's not there. What's six times two? Twelve, right? How many zeros? Follow me on the example. How many zeros? Now watch, it's a, there's a decimal involved. How much are you moving the decimal to the left? One. Move it once here, you get 120.0 or 120. But always look back and check because this number here has to be less than this number here if you're multiplying by a decimal less than 1. Antonio. In the beginning, I'll have to take a look at it and say I gotta visualize it on your paper. Anyway, smash these two numbers together because we're not still we're not still completely done. It's two hundred two thousand. No, three thousand two hundred. Good. Any questions with this? Because we have one more example now where we've got to break down a decimal. Oh, you know what? You're right. I'm look I was looking at this number. I wasn't yelling. All I was doing was shaking my head up and down. 2,120. Sorry about that. Anthony, I did that on purpose. I wanted to see if you were absolutely sure of your answer. He said 3,200. <laughs> yeah. Well, how was he? He said 2,000, and I shaked my head. So he went in a different direction, and basically I, I could lead him wherever I need to lead him, regardless of what the correct answer is. Anyway, 2,120. Under your control. This right here, like, is the numbers, like the plus sign? All right, let's take a look at example two. What number are you going to break up? Okay. 300 stays as is. Now I want you to think. How do you have to break up 25.4? A little different this time because they're asking you to break it up three ways. 
or to three partial products? Stephen. 25. Yes. There it is. Same thing now, though, you're going to distribute your 300 by three numbers inside the parentheses. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like after you actually write out the multiplication. Use that zero trick at, to your advantage whenever you can. 300 times 20. Max. 6,000. Correct. 300 times 5. Ryan. How much? Correct. And the one that you've got to be careful with is 300 times 4. 0.4, sorry. 1,000. It's got to be less than 300, Kayla. Because it's a, you're multiplying 300 times 0.4. Okay. How many zeros? Two. How many times do I have to move the decimal? 120 again. Always look back, Kayla, look. Always look back. Look, this number has to be less than this number because this number is less than 1. Okay, so always double check. Um, smash it together, what do you get? I'm not going to call on Anthony this time because he led me down the wrong path. It was all your fault. Charlie, please, get this answer right. Charlie, what do you got? That is correct. 7,620. Okay. Now, watch what we're going to do to, to, to cut down on time. Listen. All of the exercises in your booklet, it says to check the answer by actually multiplying the, actual, the answers together. We're not going to do that. Instead, you're going to check your distributive property with calculators. That's going to cut down and that will allow us to finish in one class period. All right, regular math. Listen for you, but don't get up just yet because i got to tell you what you're doing. All right, regular unsalted. You guys, you're going to do 6 pages, 6 through 6 pounds about right, 6 through 10. Advanced. 11 through 13. Okay. Advanced. There's one, there's one typo in your booklet. I'd like you to go to um, page 12. Advanced only. Go to page 12. Watch, guys. This should be 0 0.18. Answer keys are hanging up for everything. Page 12, this change should be uh, 0.12, should be 0.18. It's a mistake. All right, grab, group up, calculators, and go. Uh,